In this video, we're going to go over all the free things that you'll be getting upon Genshin Impact's release and update you guys with the latest news that I've gathered from all the interviews and events. So let's get right in. Genshin Impact Chinese servers have received this news and now it is officially for the global servers as well. There is an official reward guide and this has all been pretty much confirmed by the staff as well as the general president, the co-owner of MiHoYo. Anyways, the first thing that you don't want to miss out is the pre-registration milestone rewards. One thing for certain is that we have already hit 10 million pre-registrations across all regions and platforms. This is what? That is crazy. Because of this feat, once we reach adventure rank 10, if you don't know what that is, that is pretty much your account level. When you get to level 10, we will receive 10 acquaint fates. For all you new folks out there, what this is, is pretty much your gotcha currency for your summons, 10 free summons. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because in the previous game that I'm still playing right now, I missed out on the launch and I have missed out on all the goodies. So when will this last? From when the game goes live on September 28th, 2020 until version 1.1 update. After that, this 20 up to 20 free summons, we're not gonna get that. The next free thing that we're gonna get when the game launches is the stylized wind glider. Now, if you're new to the game and you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, what the hell is a glider? Basically, like if you're playing on PC, when you're falling down or jumping down from somewhere, if you hit that space bar, then you can glide depending on how much stamina you have. And the next thing is there's going to be an event. Get ready for the road. It's going to launch on September 10th and it's going to last until October 10th. I asked the Global Genshin Impact senior staff about this and he gave me an answer right away. He said that just wait until September 10th. There's going to be more info about that on all the social media. I'll make a separate video on this. But basically what we're going to get out of this is a free four star weapon and artifacts. If you're new to the game, four stars, that's that's good. It's Gucci, there are five stars, but four stars is really good, all right? That's not it. They have added more free things once you complete chapter four of the Adventurer's Handbook, which is pretty much an achievement system. You complete certain tasks and you get free things, free currencies, you're gonna get a free four star catalyst prototype. You take this to the blacksmith in your town and you can craft a four star weapon for your caster. Previously, I talked about adventure rank 10. We're going to get 10 free summon currencies, gotcha currencies. Not only that, they have added in another bonus. We're going to get a four star sword. Once you get into the game and you enter the beautiful world of Genjin Impact, you're going to see the event tab in the game and there is going to be People's Choice Spiral Abyss event. To receive four-star character Shanley, and she's pretty dope, to get her, you just need to complete level 3-5, completely doable for free-to-play players with the free-to-play characters that you receive upon playing. That's gonna be it, folks, for all the cool stuff that we're gonna get for free. If there are any more news or updates about this, I'll let you guys know in the pinned comment. Also in this channel, we do a lot of giveaways. We have given away hundreds of dollars just this year alone. So be sure to subscribe. We'll be doing a lot of giveaways after the launch. There are some interesting news that they have leaked and confirmed. For any whales out there that wants to spend the initial top up bonus, we're gonna get double the Genesis crystals. This is pretty much the premium currency in the game. For the first time you purchase them, you're gonna get double, and that's just gonna be for the first time, unless they decide to reset it like they did with Honkai Impact. Also, when you log in, there's gonna be a starter banner for Noel, a four-star character. In the first 10 summons, you're guaranteed a Noel copy, and because of the 20% discount, you're only going to need eight of the gacha currency instead of 10. For those that have pre-registered on the mobile devices, it may say that it's like two gigabytes. They have only preloaded some parts of it because according to the senior developers, they don't want people to rip the game before the launch. So when can you start downloading the game, preload the game? It's gonna be two days before the launch on the global servers. So on the 26th of September. Other cool features that they have talked about on the Korean as well as the Chinese and Japanese interviews, they're gonna add a new photo screenshot mode just like Honkai Impact, it clears all the UIs. That's gonna be sick. There's gonna be a new achievement system for more additional free resources, materials in the game that you will need. They have hinted about this customization when it comes to your profile, like titles or banners. They have talked about the new zones, zone revamps, as well as new quests. A glider skin system where we can have more than one gliders, that's sick. I have asked for this in the closed beta. 
that is awesome that they're implementing this. Just like their sister game, Honkai Impact, I believe they're going to add skins for the characters as well. During the interviews, the general president, the co-owner of MiHoYo, he did say that they expect to launch with two major city zones. He did mention there are seven major city states, um, nations, whatever you want to call them, but he didn't say if they're going to be all launched with the launch another cool feature we did not have on the closed beta is the free play mode meaning you can try out the new characters every time there are new characters you can try them out before you decide to either summon for them or maybe you just want to try them out before you go crazy with your wallet anyways we're getting that mode as well they're adding in four new characters as well chi chi sucrose and mona i cannot pronounce the last one i, I did a lot of research but ke ke is it Keishin or something that I don't know? Forgive me, correct me in the comment section. I'm stupid with pronunciations. Anyways, we're getting four new characters upon launch, and characters now have a dive attack. This was not in the closed beta, it was only in the secret beta where people had to, you know, keep their NDAs. Anyways, now when characters fall, they can do dive attacks. That is insane. I know you cannot tell, but I'm really excited for this game. I've been trying to keep it down low. To be honest with you, um, this video took me a while, it took me a lot of asking around and you know, doing some research. I was just so nervous being in front of a new audience. However, I'm very excited for the game and for all the content that I'll create. I want to have a perfect start and a perfect journey. So if you guys want just guides or news or anything related to Genshin Impact, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys smash this video like, share it and subscribe most importantly thank you so much if you have any questions let me know down below almost forgot make sure you join my discord today there are 14,000 of us and co-op you need, you need friends we got you we got a friendly atmosphere anyways thank you so much guys peace